Hey everyone, today I wanted to give you a tour of my Notion workspace that I've been massively using lately as my personal dashboard, my workspace for dealing with freelance projects, and also how I'm using it for my trip planning, uh, wedding planning, journal, and so many other things. So before Notion, all my notes were all over the place. I had post-it notes, notes on my phone, Google Documents and Google Spreadsheets, and everything was just all over the place. And to be fully honest with you, I know that I'm not using Notion at the max of its capacity. I know that it can do so many other things, but at the moment there are aspects of my life like dealing with expenses or dealing with my budget that I fully rely on other tools like Google Spreadsheet and I'm so used to working with them that I don't know how I'm going to translate that into Notion. That being said, for the rest of things in my life, like lists or resources that I need for my design work, everything is in there. So I know that I could use it much better and that I could uh, take advantage of its features. But at the moment, the way that I use it works for me. And I know that if I want to expand it in the future or I want to add more things, Notion has the flexibility to do so. So yeah, let me walk you through what I mean with this and show you how I organize my life. So first of all, this is Notion and this is my personal dashboard. If you're not familiar with Notion, here at the left you can have a list of all the pages that you can create and basically Notion works in blocks. So you can have um, different blogs or different pages for different aspects and you can just organize it however you want. Now I know this personal dashboard is not the most exciting but it works for me, like things that I want to organize, my personal stuff and just random lists that I don't know where to put and at least I know they're there. And on the other hand then I have my work life which is anything to do with freelancing. I have my clients, I have my project, Outlook, job applications, and then my calendar and where am I working at the moment, which I can share. If I go to my personal dashboard, I like to keep it separately just because it relates to completely different things and it's a way to organize it in my head. Here at the top, I have my favorite pages, which are the pages that I go to every day. First of all, I have my most loved page in my whole Notion setup, which is my getting things done to-do list. Now, this is a list of things that I have to do, but the way it's organized, it just, it's crazy. I got inspired by someone which I can't remember. I'll try to look for it and link it somewhere. This is just crazy. I have it on my phone as well so that anytime I want to add something to do, I just go here and it is the same list. So the way this works, on this first bit at the top, which is called inbox, this is where I write down things that I have to do without thinking. Like as soon as I hear something that I need to do, I just write it down here. And when I have a moment, I take five minutes to organize it. So I can organize it by context. So if it has to do with being on my desk or something I can do on the go, if I need my phone, my laptop, if it requires high energy, low energy, if it's related to work or personal admin or trips or other types of projects, when is the due date, so if it's something that needs to be done by a specific date or if I need to do it ASAP, and then if it is related to my personal and admin stuff or if it's related to work. And as soon as I tap this, it just gets organized. So let's do an example. For instance, return books to library. This is related to on the go. It is low energy. It is personal life. Cool. I need to do it by Sunday. It's not ASAP and it is related to my personal life. Then it gets moved. Because it needs to be done soon, it gets moved to this due soon part of the board. If I checked ASAP, it would move immediately to due now. So these are the things that I need to do now. Some of them I've already done. So if I click done, they just get moved. So yeah, if it is related to personal or life admin, it has a specific section. If it's related to work, if it's things that I want, and then at the bottom I have all the things that I have completed, which to be honest, I could delete, but 
it's nice to see all the things that I've done in one place. So yeah, this is how I work. If I'm on the go and I remember something that I have to do, I would quickly add it on my phone. It syncs up with here. And when I have a moment, if I'm on the tube or if I'm on the bus or if I'm home, I organize my inbox and then I know what's due now, what's due soon, what requires low energy, which means that I can do it quickly and what relates to my personal life or work life. So I think this is the board that I'm most proud of just because I use it every day and it works so well for me. Yeah, moving on to different boards. I have my journal as well, which is just a list of entries and thoughts that I have. It's just things related to therapy, things that I discuss with my therapist or just things that I think about. Then I have my weekly reset, which this is inspired by Michelle B. I can link it somewhere. A list of things to do at the end of each week, just to do like a reset and start the, week, the new week fresh. This is the good thing about Notion. You can find so many templates out there. You don't have to start from scratch. You can just go somewhere and, and duplicate it and tweak it in your own way and just make it your own, but at least you don't have to start from scratch. Then I have my meal planner, which is really useful as well. I have my full week laid out. I have a shopping list and I have a list of meals. So here I have a lot of meals that I've written down with the different ingredients so that every time that I add a meal to my weekly view, I get the shopping list of the ingredients that I need to have that meal made. So yeah, this is really nice to have this database because it organizes my, my weekly meal planning so easily. Then I have my workout uh, planning, things about my flat, things that we need to do, my personal, my 30 before 30 list, which if you've seen my latest video, you're fully aware of it. Then my 2021 goals, which it's no longer valid. I, I didn't do any of them, but yeah, it's just a list. My wedding planning, which has things like this, things that I have to do, things that I've done, a list of guests with the dietary requirements, if they're coming, things related to money. So I have each provider and what's the deposit, how much is left to pay. Um, and yeah, just everything in one place. Then I have trips. Um, yeah, this is a trip I did in the summer with some friends, where we stayed, where how much we paid, things to do, to see, to eat. Again, I know there are much better ways to organize it, but even if it doesn't look that nice, it's in one place. And for me, that is enough. If you look at Notion boards and inspiration, you will find these lovely, beautiful pages designed by people who have a lot of good taste and I guess they spend a lot of time. But if you don't have that much time, just focus on having everything in one place and then you'll find the time to organize it but at least it's there and then i have a bunch of lists of brands that i like as i said just a list but before i had it on pocket which is a chrome extension i have wish list which is things that i want i have gifts which was really useful because i can filter it by who is it for if it's for my husband if it's for my dad if it's for my mom where to get it um, if I got it. Um, so yeah, it's very nice to be able to filter and see it in a much digestible way. Then I have games for my Nintendo Switch that I've never bought, but I will someday. And words in German that are useful for me and that I want to remember. This is my personal dice word. So I think apart from getting things done, which I use every single day. The rest is more like, yeah, I use it down then when I feel like it and when I have something to add. On work life, this is more <laughs> extended. So first of all, I have my calendar here, which is related to my project outlook. This is really good because you can have a page with a table and in another page you can have this with a calendar. And it's good because I have an overview of the project that I'm working at the moment and when my contract ends and when I'm, I'm available. So that's really nice. And that, as I was saying, links to this project outlook. And this project outlook board for me is projects that I finished, things that are awaiting feedback, things, projects that are ongoing, things that I've accepted but haven't started yet, things that I've got in touch with but I've never done, and projects that got 
rejected. So this is really useful because for each project I have a page and in that page I have important links that I can access to, the tasks that I need to be doing, what are the goals, what are the requirements and also I can write notes from calls or from feedback that I'm given so every time I know that I have to work on a specific project I know where to go and I go straight into that page and I write notes there or if I have questions I know that I will probably find them there in an, one of those links or one of those notes that I've written. So everything is in one place. I can also see it as, tim as a timeline. So if I want to go back and see what I've worked on, it's, it's there. Then I have things related to finances. I have my accountant in the UK, my accountant here in Spain. And as I was saying, there are things that I don't feel comfortable with using Notion. So I'm still using Google Spreadsheet with some of those things, like my bookkeeping, which I have a direct link into, into Google Spreadsheet. So that is a nice thing. So then I have like a, a client board with the people that I've gotten in touch with, um, what type of company they are, notes on the specific projects, and just a nice way because sometimes if I need to get in touch with a company or with someone, I don't remember their email or what do they do. Um, so it's a nice way to keep it all, all organized. I have job applications, which I haven't used much because this was before I was a freelancer. But yeah, I kept it all in one place with my resume, resume, my cover letter, my portfolio link so that, you know, when someone asks you to send you your CV or your resume or your cover letter before I had it all over the place. And now I know that I have to go here and I will find it. And it's usually the most updated version. So. And if we move forward, I have my resource list, which is things to do with colors, things to do with typography, things to do with, with tools and resources, inspiration, so that every time I found a resource that I like, like um, a company that I really like or designers that I admire, I just put it here and I know that it's there. Before I used bookmarks on Chrome and it was just a mess. So. It's like a nice way to keep it all together. I have email templates for when I have to get in touch with people. So I don't need to write it all from the beginning. I just can customize one of these templates and I know the message and the way that it's written is correct because I've used it in the past and it's worked. I have text that I wanted to write on my website and portfolio. And then I just have like a brain dump of things that I want to do and quick project ideas or posts or just some ideas. So yeah, as I said at the beginning, I'm not I'm not a master on on Notion. I know that I could be doing so much more and I'll probably do, but I haven't used it for that long. And at the moment my focus is to organize my life in a way that at least everything is in one place. Like that's my main goal at the moment. I'll probably spend time refining some of these boards and making them look nicer. At the moment I don't want to spend too much time making it look nicer. I want to spend time making it usable. So that is my goal at the moment. So yeah, let me know if you use Notion, how you use it, if you have any questions. Also, if you're interested in a specific board and you want me to do like a more detailed walkthrough, also let me know and I'll be glad to do it. Again, if you want to get started with Notion, I think the best thing to do is to type in getting started with Notion on YouTube and you'll find hundreds of amazing, great tutorials that will tell you how to do that. For now, thank you so much for watching and see you next time.